Hey guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex, and today I'm gonna show you how to move all your chat history from an Android device to the iPhone. Please watch the video from the beginning till the end so you don't miss any details, any tips on how to do this transfer successfully. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy A13 5G with Android 11, and I'm using an iPhone 6S with iOS 15.5, which is the latest. We're gonna go on the Android and we're gonna install WhatsApp beta because the current public version doesn't work. We're going to look for the WhatsApp Messenger 222.15.5. It says it has two variants. The one that worked for me is the first one right here. So this is the one that we're going to download, 222.15.5. I already downloaded, so it's going to ask me to download it again. Download file again. I'm just going to click the file, and it's going to be open. Do you want to install this application? Install. App install. Okay, so we're going to open it. Now, we have the WhatsApp already on the iPhone because I did a video before which I moved already from Android to iPhone. So the WhatsApp, we have it here. So we need to put it back to the Android. So we need to confirm the number again. I'm gonna take a picture of the phone number. I never remember the phone number. And if you go to about the phone, you will see it right here. Now that we have the phone number, we're just gonna put it here. So it's 954-658-5568. Eight. I'm gonna click next and it says you entered the phone number 954-568-5568 verification complete okay and it says that I'm already logged out of this iPhone if I try to open it it says that it's not longer registered okay so here I'm gonna give all the, the access to everything and this is my backup from yesterday, 34 megabytes. I'm going to restore it. Next. So it's restoring the media and it's done. So if you see the chats here, you will see that I have everything that I have before. All right. So we are cool. Just to make sure, guys, go to settings, uh, go to help, app info. And this is the beta that is working for me right now, 222.15.5. After that, you're going to do a backup again, just in case, chat backup. Make sure you include videos. Make sure you have a Gmail account and do a backup. So just in case, we're doing a fresh backup. Okay. At 5 p.m., Google Drive, 34 megabytes. We have the WhatsApp on the Samsung device. We're using the beta. What else do we need here? And we have Android 11. Let me show you that we have Android 11 because some people don't believe that much. Android 11. So what we want to do is we want to transfer WhatsApp from the Android to the iPhone. And here on the iPhone, we just need to make sure that we have iOS 15.5 because if we don't have 15.5, this is not going to work. 15.5. And the other thing, guys, is we need to restore the device. If you've been using your iPhone and you have stuff that you want to save, do a backup. Okay. Then after doing the backup, you're going to go to settings, general, transfer or reset the iPhone and you're going to select this option. Erase all content and settings. Erase this iPhone, continue. It's uploading data to iCloud. I don't care, I'm just going to skip it. They're going to ask me for my password. Okay, so erase iPhone. Now it's restarting, it's erasing. So this, what it's going to do, is going to put the iPhone as if it's brand new. When you buy an iPhone and you turn it on, you're going to see it like this. In order to do this transfer from WhatsApp chat history from an Android to an iPhone, your iPhone needs to be set up like this, factory reset. I do have an iPhone 7 already set up. So let's see if it works here. Look, I'm going to click English, United States, set up manually. So this is interesting because we're going to test it on the iPhone 7 and on the iPhone 6. Set up touch later, don't use, don't use, don't use. So we're just skipping the options. And here is the window that we need, apps and data. And here it says move data from Android. Before that, guys, I want you to download an app on your Android. It's called Move to iOS. So go to the Play Store, download the app, and then open it. And here you're going to click continue, agree, continue. And this is enter one time code. And where is this code? It's right here. When you click move data from Android. Continue. 794181. 794181. Connect to device. Connect. Connected, it says. Now it says preparing. Waiting for device. 
And look at this, guys. It's going to work. Why is going to work? Because I'm seeing WhatsApp. A lot of you guys are not going to see WhatsApp. And that's why they are complaining for because this WhatsApp option is new to WhatsApp. Almost a year ago, they allow us to transfer from iPhone to Android. And now they are allowing us to transfer from Android to iPhone. All the chats from WhatsApp on the Android, now you can move it to the iPhone, which is what people actually want. You know, if you don't see this WhatsApp option, you have to keep trying with different betas or waiting for the public release of this feature. If you go to FAQs on the WhatsApp website, you should be able to do it right now with the versions you have. But in reality, you cannot do it. So look at this. I'm going to click WhatsApp. Move chats to iOS. Transfer your chats and media history to your new iPhone. You will not be able to transfer later if you skip this step. So we're going to click Start. Almost done. You will be directed to the Move to iOS app to complete the transfer. Click Next. I'm also going to select Contacts and I'm going to click Continue. And now it's moving to this iPhone 7. Transfer complete, transfer complete. Okay, so I'm going to click done. Now, on this device, you still have all your files, all your pictures, so don't worry. You didn't delete anything. You're good. Now, if you've tried to open WhatsApp, it's already like this because we are moving it to the iPhone. And I'm going to concentrate on the iPhone now. It says transfer complete. I'm going to continue setting up the iPhone. You do need to log in to your Apple ID. Okay, next. This usually takes a long time, guys. That's it. All right. So we're going to put our password. Apple ID security, you're going to click other options and I'm opting not to use the two factor authentication. Okay. Agree. Make this your new iPhone. Continue. Siri later. Welcome to iPhone. Get started. What we need to do is we need to download WhatsApp. So click on the app store and you're going to look for uh, WhatsApp. Okay. It's right here. So we're going to have to uh, authenticate WhatsApp again. And that's why they're going to ask us for a phone number. But remember, the SIM card, I still have it here. I mean, you can move it to the iPhone if you want it, but I still have it here because this is is working here. And what I need at the end is the code only, you know. So why move it? Of course, after I finish and I want to use the iPhone, then I will move it because that will be my number, you know. But right now, for the setup, you don't need to move it. Follow the phone and you're going to get this phone number, 954 now we just authenticate whatsapp on the android so chances are it's going to ask me to wait or they're going to ask me to call okay but usually it should be just a text 954-658-5568 now we need to confirm the number make sure it's a number because they're going to send you a text or they're going to call you so make sure it's the right number click yes and look at that it says verifying you recently connected please try again six hours 48 minutes but i have this option or call me some people also complain about here that they don't have the option of call me, but usually you should have it. It's like a backup, you know, so call me and I should get the phone call right here on the Android with the code right there. So I'm going to pick it up. That's it. I got my code. And look at this move chat from Android. This is beautiful, guys. Start. Permission needed. Okay, we're going to give all permissions, allow access to all photos, moving chats, chat history moved to iPhone. My name there, my little picture. And look at this. WhatsApp would like to access your contacts. And it changed from the number to the name of the contacts. All right. And if you open it, you're going to see the same chats that I have on the Android. Now I have them on the iPhone. Of course, these are only two conversations. You're going to have a lot of them and your backup is going to be really huge. This is only like 36 max. Yours is going to be gigs. Just to see, I'm going to do another backup here, including videos. Backup now to iCloud now. And you can see that when you do a backup on iCloud, you don't need to put the email because it's going to be done at your Apple ID, which already have an email. All right, that's it. I have it there. For people that want to see the version I'm using here on the iPhone, it's the 222.14.74, okay? This is the official version, no beta. The beta is only on the Android. And what else I can show you here, guys? If you go to chats, you can do move chats to Android. So you can move from iPhone to Android also and from Android to iPhone. So now it's perfect, guys, because we have the option to move all our chat history from an Android device to an iPhone or vice versa. 
So if you regret using the iPhone, you want to go back to the Android, you can do it by doing this. All right, guys, um, I think that concludes the video. I'll show you how to move all your chat history from an Android device, in this case, a Samsung, because before I was using a Pixel 3, now I'm using a Samsung, how to move it to the iPhone. And this is an iPhone 7, by the way, with iOS 15.5, which is the latest version. Questions, I know you're gonna have questions. A lot of people say that it doesn't work on their case because they're using a Xiaomi or a OnePlus or any kind of device different than the Samsung or the Pixel. But some people complain also from the Samsung and from Pixels too, so I don't know what to tell you guys. I didn't do anything special, I just downloaded the beta and for some people are not working some people saying that depends on your phone number and your whatsapp account that you can transfer or not this but in my case based on my videos i was able to do it so i hope you can do it let me know in the comments if you cannot and please put what devices are you using guys if you like this video and it was useful for you and you want to help me please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it and i'll see you in my next video